It gives you boost bump, goosebumps as they finish up uh, that video saying, what else could you ask for? It's the first time that St. Kitts has participated in any robotics event. Their GSC supporting team is the Roquettes that, uh, the Rockettes, sorry, that come out of Oklahoma. And Dr. Neil, their mentor, is the author of the first IT textbook published in the Caribbean. Quite an accomplishment, but also quite an accomplishment being here on this international stage representing their country of St. Kitts and Nevis. And you can see that St. Kitts and Nevis is currently teamed up with Afghanistan and South Korea on the Hydro Alliance, and they're up against Oceania, Turkey, and Lebanon on the Aqua Alliance. As we get that Telestrator up and running for you, it looks like that Aqua Alliance is off to a really good start with all of the clear water particles as well as the sorting that's happening in that robot that we're highlighting right now. We're trying to find out what country it is. They've only got that blue flag, so we don't know who it's going to signify. But in the meantime, we've also got these three robots on the left side of our screen for that Hydro Alliance as well. Korea is looking like it's making quite a move in terms of trying to get up and around this bridge over and trying to dump some of those contaminated particles for four points a piece. Now, right now, we only see one contaminated ball that is in the middle of that river. If we zoomed back out, we would have seen it, but we also want to focus on the energy that some of these teams are bringing into the competition, including those fantastic and multicolored clown rainbow wigs from that team on the edge. Yep, Lebanon is definitely showing their spirit with those rainbow wigs. And right now, you can see them as they were right on the screen. They were also having having the audience, entire audience join them in clapping before this round began. So they're really bringing the energy here. Um, if we zoom out a little bit, we, can, we just saw Team Oceana perfectly organizing all of those balls. And they were going to go drop those off. As you can see, that probably just happened as the Team Aqua score rises greatly. And you can see South Korea trying to do the same as they try to push those orange balls down that tube. As you can see right there, to add to their score. As we clear that Telestrator off, you can see St. Kitts and Nevis pumping towards their corner to put some of those balls into the water reserve. Right now, it's using its tires as battering rams trying to push and funnel some of those water particles in there, getting some extra points. they got a 10-point lead right now with 30 seconds to go. Both of these alliances have finished their 10 contaminants in the lab, which means that they're going to stop flowing. And in the last 20 seconds, we're going to see if they try to clear the river for 15 points or whether they all try to go for those hanging bar points. That would be 60 if they can get a triple hang. Yep, as we've mentioned, each robot successfully hanging in the air is 20 points and each robot successfully parked on the bridge is going to be five as we see we have two ro two robots on the hydro alliance already in the air and it looks like the other one is trying to get up but might be having a connection issue as we mentioned as we get to the end of the game we'll bring the score up for you in one second and congratulations to team aqua winning that one 110 to 84 that would be oceana turkey and lebanon with those crazy wigs